Let's take a look at the offset property of a range and how we can use this to enter data in the next row. So if we pick a range to start with, we can offset by rows and columns. So if I pick range B3 and I offset by two rows, one, two, and one column, one, I would expect it to end up at C5. So to use the offset property, I just specify the range and then offset and then the number of rows. And you can see this is highlighted here. So I want to offset two rows, go down, and two columns. I'm sorry, one column. When they're positive numbers, they're going down for rows and to the right for columns. When they're negative numbers, they're going up for rows and left for columns. And you'll find that true for most all this, the, the uh, values that we're putting in here. Uh, positive is down and to the right, negative is up and to the left. So this should take us down to and right one, C5. Let's select it to see if this is true. And it is. If I started with D7 and I offset negative two rows and negative one column, I'll pick D7. Negative two rows would bring us up here, negative one column. I would expect it to be C5 as well. And it is. So how can we use offset uh, to our advantage? Well, uh, one of the big ways we'll use it is entering data into the next row. So if I had uh, some type of an application here that collected this data, then I would want to write student 10 in this row and student 11 in this row and student 12 in this row. So I would want to find the end, offset, and then write the data. So let's take a look at, at uh, how we can do that practically. So here I've written a small application. It'll put up five input boxes. The first one wants to know the name and then a, each of the four scores. And it's going to populate those variables from the input box. And now that I have the information in the variables, I want to write it into this worksheet. And to write it into this worksheet, I need to go to the next row. So to find the next row, I'm going to a range that's pretty far from my region. And then I'm going to end Excel up. And when I end Excel up, it'll take me to this last row. And then I'm going to offset by one row. It's a positive number, so it's coming down. and no columns, so I'm not going to move. So E1000, index L up, takes us to E10, offset by one row, takes us to the blank row. So, and then into that, I'm going to put the value property. I'm going to populate that value property with the variable. So let's see how this works. To test it, I'm going to make sure that the right scores are going in the right place. So score one, I'm going to make one, two, two, three, three. And I can see that it's putting it into the next row. If I were to run the application again, I can see it fill in. So a very practical way that we can use offset, remember when we use offset, it starts counting from the next cell. So if this were selected and we were going two rows, it would be one row, two rows. And if we were going one column, it would be one column. And also remember, positive numbers are down and to the right. Negative numbers are up and to the left.